Hello girls. Hello friends. I just finished a video over on uh, Melanie's page called um, that for this for the summer craft a thon. Um, it's her page is called the Southern Crush at Home. And I I didn't finish my project all the way and I thought maybe there might be someone rather than seeing a still picture maybe you want to see the finished project so if you caught video one this is kind of where we left off and I am going to go ahead and finish it here so that if anybody wants to see the finish they can catch me later um, on a replay okay so um, I'm making a kite for the summer in case you missed my first one um, I hate that I'm stepping on whoever's next in the craft-a-thon, but I th thought maybe, um, you know, the craft-a-thon people can keep craft a -thon and <laughs> any of you that may have caught it on my page, it'd be like, what, what, why did she have to jump off? I don't understand. Um, I thought maybe we can just stay here and visit and knock this baby out, right? <laughs> so I don't know. My husband's gone right now. I'm all by myself and I'm crafting and I just hate to do it by myself, right? When I have friends to do it with. So I'm not looking up at comments because I kind of want to keep it rolling here. So I'm cutting up this vintage, um, um, well, I cut up an old one. It, it's embroidery. This is like the bottom of a tea towel that someone has embroidered. So this was like a doily thing. And so um, I'm just cutting it up. I'm trying to save all of the pieces that I can and work them in sporadically. I can't believe that I ran out of time. I've done so many craft-a-thons with her and this is my first one that I literally, I looked at my watch and it said, 7:20, and I thought, "Wow, where did that time go? I should have picked a better craft." Well, I don't know better. This is a good one, but yeah, maybe one that was a little more aware of the time constraint. I don't know. 20 minutes has always been more than enough. Um, I'm trying not to talk about it, you know. So okay, so this is right side up. I want to make sure I get it right now that I'm cutting it all apart let's see and I don't need all of that so let's just do that okay so let's spray a little adhesive I need to get make sure I get the backs so I'm using spray adhesive okay and I'm just making them sticky and that's all I do you guys I don't hot glue them unless something lifts if something lifts up um, you know, after it's been hanging on the wall for a year or two, I'll go ahead and, um, and hot glue it if it needs tacked a little bit, but if not, then I don't even mess with it. And so then what I thought I would do while that's tacking up is I was going to use the trim around the edge, um, that came with, this was what was sewn onto it. But I feel like it's been washed so many times and I think that the uh, crochet threads that she used faded compared, at least that's what I think. I would think she would have made it all match uh, with all the work she's got in this. Um, so I, I don't know. Let me show you. So there is the trip and see, oh, the colors are very pretty. Let me see, let me look and see what you guys are seeing. Sometimes it's like, you know, you take a picture of something to make sure. It's <laughs> oh no, the red's popping. I like the red. I hope you guys like the red as well. Um, I got a little lift right here, so I'm gonna glue that down. So now, instead of putting the, the um, trim in over top of the artwork, I wanna put it on the outside of the artwork. I wanna cover where the you know where the boards are and stuff i want to take your eye away from that part so um, i have plenty of this red trim so i'm going to do the red trim for sure let's go ahead and lay a little bead of glue all the way the length of this height and then i'm gently here just gently going to lay that there okay 
So now we have a little ruffle on the uh, one side of the kite. Okay, let me uh, cut that. Oh, doesn't that, I wish I could have got that done for the girls in the craft-a-thon, darn it. I really got behind. I didn't even look at any comments or anything. I was cooking right along, but mm -mm. not enough. Okay, so maybe I should have made one and timed myself. I don't know. I've made so many, I thought I was good to go. <laughs> Guess not. Okay, so let's tack that down. And there we go. Okay, so then I'm gonna follow that kind of to a point. Doesn't matter, that point's gonna be covered up, okay? These points at the top are not gonna be, but I just peeked to see what I did, and I did. I just used a button um, to cover the points, so we're in good shape. Okay. So. There we go. Oops, that's got a little fold. Maybe if I spray it with water, it will loosen up a little bit. Okay. All right. Oh, it's, it's so cute. Okay, I'll show you close up, but it's just a bunch of little flowers. It kind of looks like swirls on there, almost like a quilt. It's not a quilt. It was a table runner or a doily type. linen. It was a vintage linen. Okay. All right. So we're going to snap that off. Okay. So here's where we are so far. Okay. And now I want to fill in just a little bit with a little bit more flowers. I don't want them to be upside down. Hmm. Fill in this space with this one. I have a little tiny one here that I think I'm going to bring out of the side of the bow. I have a little tiny flower here. Let's see, where do I want to put it? Oh, maybe we'll just nestle it in right here. And then I have my smallest flower that I'm thinking I might need to, hmm, do I want, how do I want to get that in there? Hmm. Okay. I have a couple more flowers here that are just single pieces. Those like that. Oh, put those like. Oops, I have so much sticky on my finger. <laughs> it's sticking to my fingers. <laughs> okay, and then maybe we'll do another little loop coming out of there. And then I think, gee, I think I'm good. I think I'm really good. I don't know that I even need to do anymore. Actually, I don't want to overkill. It's quite, a, it's got quite a bit happening here. Let's see. Do I dare? I don't know. I think I'm going to cut these free and just do single little buds. Let's see, that's a red that needs to go like over here. Let's just do these single little flowers. I'm going to cut this blue off of this. Okay. I have one last piece. Oh, it's really, it's really pretty full. Let's see here. Let's see. Put a blue in here. Do any um, double pieces, maybe. Uh-uh. I already have that pink. 
So let's try that. And then I have one more red one. Hmm. Right there. Okay. So then what I need to do is get rid of this ugly thing and dump some buttons out here. And I need some larger buttons like this one. See? And I'm going to cover up where those points met. So we're going to do that there. And I have a button here for this one. There's another one for here. Okay, and then that is all for right now. So we're all glued together. Let me flip this over and I want to decide. I feel like I need to do the same red. Um, I feel like I need to do the same red because I don't know if the colors will play well together like looking at it. So I want to finish out the back side as well. That's kind of going to be a boring minute for you guys, but I, I think I think it needs to be needs to be done. And I'm not going to put any buttons on the back side. I don't think uh, I don't think it'll lay as well on the wall if you do that. Uh, okay. So I cannot believe I did not have enough time. That is crazy. I thought I was scooting right along. <laughs> Good thing I looked. Okay. <laughs> Let it go, right? Let it go. Okay, so there's that. All right. And I have one more piece. Oh, that didn't take that long. I do that a little bit. Whoop, my glue's not sticking. There you go. That'll stick for me there. Okay. I've got the right side up, so that's good. All right. So that just um, finishes, oh shoot, that just finishes the back a little bit. Then the other thing, like I am just used muslin. This is just muslin on this side. The other side is the actual cloth itself. Um, so none of this part was cut out, just all of the little pieces. So what you need to do though is take a muslin shred. So I take, uh, muslin is just an inexpensive, like a curtain liner. And I take just a nice um, cut of that. Just need a little tiny bit. That's probably even more than I need. And I wanna put my hanger in there. So, oh, I kinda, I kinda forgot to put my hanger in there. So let's put a dot here. And I'm going to glue it. I'm kind of getting underneath the backing in the poster board. I'm getting in there. Boy, I hate that I miss telling those ladies that. And then I'm gonna snip it down. I don't need it too long. This is kind of an important step, but hopefully, I did tell them to come over and, and see, so hopefully they will. Okay, so there you go. Now you have your little hanger to hang your kite sideways. Okay, now we're not quite done yet. So these shreds, this is how you do muslin shreds. You just snip it at the top um, or snip it somewhere and then pull. If you just start pulling, it won't um, do as easily. But if you, oh, let's see if I can, yeah, it's just, it's really hard to get going. But if you just give it a little snip and then start pulling, you're good to go. Okay, so just give it a little snippage and you're good. So that's all we needed that for. So the last step was, I hate that I ran out of time. <laughs> just hate it. Um, okay, the last step then, and I did this so that I would save some time. I gathered some lace. Um, this is uh, fuzzy yarn, a couple pieces of handmade lace here and here, vintage lace, and then some lace curtains, or I don't even know what it was. It was a Goodwill thing that I found or somewhere. There's some vintage lace, there's some vintage lace, two more pieces of vintage lace, and then a piece of yarn or this furry stuff. I just love the texture of it. So, okay, you have that. Then you're gonna take one of your muslin shreds and you're just gonna tie that. So let me just snip it here. 
actually, what if I tie it and make the muslin shreds as part of the strings as well? Let's, um, hmm, because it's so long. Let's do that. Let's, why, why waste it? Okay, so, okay. So, well, it would not go to waste, but you know what I mean. So I'm gonna hold that down and I'm gonna try tie a bow I'm upside down, but that's okay. You guys are upside down, so you will probably look right side up for you. Okay. I'll never forget I was at my father-in-law's house and I was put I put on my shoes and we were getting ready to leave and I was tying them and he says, You tie upside down. Like your mother must have shown you how to tie and you tie backwards. I thought that was very um interesting that he picked up on that. So yeah, every once in a while when I'm tying something, I think of I think of my father-in-law <laughs> because of him catching that I tied upside down. I'd never even heard of such a thing. I didn't know what he was talking about. But I think he's right. I think I do tie upside down. <laughs> so, okay. All right. Okay, let me snip all the junk out of here. Okay, all right. So, then I have a tie here. And I think I'm gonna put just in order to make sure, mm, I think it'll be okay. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is hot glue this tie to the bottom of the kite, all right? So like that. And I'm gonna make sure it's not on my table. I'm gonna press that down. And that tie is too big. I bet it's too late to, no it's not. There we go. Okay, so that is going to grab that. And then I'm gonna put one last big button, not buttons got stuff on there we go here's a nice one and we're gonna put a big button right here just to cover up that little stub of kind of stubby lace thing okay and then last thing we're gonna do and we're done I really did misjudge this one okay so here is my strips I want to cut everything to the same length so there is that Okay, then I'm gonna take my shreds and I wanna gather them at least maybe two more times, okay? So we're gonna gather here and make a bow. This was one of the projects that we did in our group oh, probably two years ago. I always thought they were so cute. Gee, I had no idea it took me so long to whip one out. Okay, and then one more little catch. Um, you know how the kite tails have the bows on them sometimes like this? You don't have to, you guys can just leave the ribbons hang. However you, it's yours, you do it how you wanna do it. These will not be glued on. Um, but I have three ready. I don't know if any are on the website yet. They're $25. I don't know. I know I've sold some, but oh, that's not a very good bow compared to the other one. Hang on, let's do one more. Um, but I'll have to check the website and see if we have any kites on there or not. But I'm gonna show you when I'm done here. Give me just one more minute to get this bow right. Um, we'll, I'm gonna show you the ones that are done. And then you'll see everything. And then I can hold it up and show you what I would do with it on my wall. Okay, I can't hear now. I had it one on my wall forever and then one of you girls bought it, but um, I have so much. I have so much, you'll see when I put you up. So, and then maybe I can take a minute and read your comments. So, okay, let me get you up here where you can, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm afraid you're gonna fall back down, let me. There we go, there we go. Okay, hi, <laughs> hi, it's me. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. So, and then I put my hanger on the wrong side for my wall, but that's okay. If you need, if you need, you can switch it out super easy. You just lift it up right there. But I have my hanger here, so you would hang it. So 
So I need my hanger over here, see? And you would hang it so that it would hang down and then you can have your tails hang or like you could prop them up here like that. So there is this one, all done. Okay, isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. And then here's your tails. So it would hang on your wall like that, okay? And then there's just the back side. Okay, let me show you the other ones that I've done in the past. And they're all based on the, um, they're all based on the artwork of the maker, but I did put different laces on these. Um, and I've added some buttons in there. This one didn't need it. But then here are your tails. So this one to see, you guys can see, right? Can you, yeah, you can kind of see. So it would hang like that. I used to have one hanging here until I made, until I made that frame. I had one here, um, but yeah, so there's another, I have two more I can show you. So here's another, this one turned out really cute. And I love this hanging, I love that. Okay, and then there's your, there's your tails. So cute, right? And then here's another. I had, this must have been a really big piece, I can't remember, or it was pillowcases maybe. Uh, no, that's bigger than a pillowcase, I'm not sure, I don't remember. Um, and then there's that one. So, oops, this one needs trimmed. I put yarn in here and that yarn got a little frazzly, I think. I have a new pair of scissors too. Mama needs some new scissors. So there you go. There are some kites. <laughs> and I love them. I think they're a great way to um, display a vintage feel. I think they're very summery. And I think they're very cute. So there you go. There's this one. Does this one have a hanger? Yeah, this one has a hanger on this side. So I've got a hanger on both sides. So there's that. And um, these two, do I have a hanger? Yes. And I need to finish the back of this one. Look at that. I whipped that one out and didn't even finish the back. And whoops, there's that one. And yeah, this one doesn't have a hanger yet. But I'm going to put the hanger on this side so that this hangs down. So anyway, so how many is it? Oh, I have people here. Hi. So let me show you one more thing. This is the best part of my whole day. This is the best part of my whole day. So when I started laying this out, I was using handmade lace. I wanted to make a cream colored one. I was thinking of incorporating it in, but I know I have too much stuff. I do TikToks all the time about, my, <laughs> about me having too much stuff. So... Anyway, this kite thing sparked this idea. And I did this today in my crafting group. And I absolutely love it. This frame was just an old frame. It was either my senior picture or our wedding picture. I'm not even sure what it was. Um, but uh, let me see. Oh, I just saw a mad face. Somebody's mad at me. Hmm. I don't know why they must not like this. <laughs> Maybe they don't like what I made. Anyway, um, I don't know why you stay and watch. Anyway, so this is all vintage handmade lace. So this is a ruffle. I left it loose. I added another layer just for color contrast and then some old pearls, okay? And then, and this, this was the bottom, or well, the rest. This was the towel, the tea towel that I cut up to get this background. And so I'll save this for another kite. Okay, so then um, I did the same concept, you guys. I did the same uh, spray adhesive, Super 77, and I mounted old collars. These are, this is an old collar. Um, I hot glued, of course, the jewelry and the vintage tags and stuff. But if you look really um, closely, there's jewelry. I've got, um, I have some um, rhinestones that I line down the side, and then this side has rhinestones and a bracelet. And I think it turned out fabulous. So it's like a really textural art thing that I can hang um, in, I think I'm gonna put it in the bedroom, but I absolutely love it. And it was all inspired by me trying to lay things out to make a kite, so yay. <laughs> So the girls in my group were tickled and I'm happy that um, we came up with something unique like this. So it worked out great. So anyway, let me um, 
since I'm not on a time constraint, I can look at your comments and see if there's any questions. Um, I have my glasses on probably. Let me let me scroll down here. So I'm just I'm just going through to look and see if you guys have any questions. Um, any questions at all? Uh, let's see. Well, there's Cynthia from Georgia. Hello and hi Cindy Kane. Uh, let's see see if anyone else but that's all I have to share with you so if you want to jump back over to the craft-a-thon if you happen to have jumped out for a minute um, jump on over <laughs> so um, hi Kathy you love the vintage doilies I do too anything vintage girlfriend I do too you'll have to jump in my group because we do a lot all of this creative stuff we make all kinds of stuff so hi Susan from North Dakota so nice to meet you thank you for sprinkling the red lace you cut off would be cute for the kite tail. Yes, Dee Dee, you're right. I probably could incorporate a little red in there. Um, it's my only lace besides what I cut off of the actual thing that I have with color. So, I don't know. You're right. Maybe I should put a little piece in there. You've enjoyed spin. Oh, thank you, Joe. I know I've been on all day. You're in my group. So yeah, I've been on with you all day. I jumped in and out, you guys, when I was making that picture um, to show them how, you know, how I backed it and all that stuff. So yeah, I have kind of have been on all day, one place or another. Let's see. Any other comments? I'm not seeing anybody else. Anybody want to say hello? I'm happy to say hi. Cute idea, thank you, Cindy. Oh, here somebody said something and I scroll right past. You know, I have, uh, you have to have one of the kites. Um, well, Ellen messaged me and I'll, I'll screenshot a picture of each one and you can pick the one you want. Because I don't know if they're on my website or not. I can't remember. Um, it would be under Handmade by Tammy, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, thank you, Rhonda. Really so nice. So, so nice. Let's see. Thank you, Linda. She said it was pretty. Cutest ideas. Thank you, Ellen. Uh, where are the frames from for the kites? Robin, I just, if you, when we get off of here, if you scroll back, um, the last video I just did, the whole beginning of it is laying out the frames. But I honestly, this one doesn't have a, a back on it yet. I honestly just used the large popsicle sticks and I uh, laid them together, what did I say, 11 inches and 14 inches. Uh, it, go down five and a half inches to find your width. And I forget what it was. You watch that video, it's got all of the measurements um, and it's right at the very beginning, so you won't have to watch like the whole thing. Hey Sarah, hi. Thank you, Linda. Oh, you guys are sweet. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you, Sandy and Ruth. Um, Cindy likes it too. Yay. And Sharon likes it. Thank you guys. Great way to display a, cl a collection of vintage laces and things. Yes. I, um, you know, I don't use a lot of color, so I thought that's a nice little thing. Um, I had a big chalkboard at one time and I had a couple of kites like kind of around the chalkboard and I do mess around with that chalk couture. So I had like a summery thing going and it was fun. Yeah. So thanks, Sarah. She says it's cool. Linda or Ellen beautiful oh my gosh I am not thinking of I I am not thinking of many ideas for grandma's doilies I bet she says she is now Suzanne um I know stick with me friend I got all kinds of ideas um and I'm on YouTube if you guys just go over to YouTube um you can find me I've got hundreds I, I got a lot of videos over there thank you Joe you love the frame I know I just love it too hey Norma thank you uh, love your vintage creations. Thank you, Sheila. You guys are being too nice. The weather is getting bad in Central Texas, so it was freezing for you. Oh, well, hopefully you can catch the replay. replay. If you want to make one, you can, I think you can figure it out. <laughs> um, thank you, Alma. I appreciate that. Uh, you really don't need to cover the back. No, I really don't. Actually, when I first was making them forever ago, I didn't so that the nail could grab and you could hang it any direction you wanted. And then when I sold it, I kind of felt like it wasn't, um, I don't know, like it wasn't good enough or it wasn't completed or whatever. So 
I put the back on and that, and then you see I even put the, the hanger outside as an afterthought. So if you get one, you could cut the hanger off and put it on there. It's just the back, but you know, when you make it for yourself, I would never put a back on, but to make them for other people, I do. Um, you have lots of doily. Oh, you're so lucky, Kathy. Yes, I I do try to buy up when I find it and try to put it on my website for you guys. Um, there's Karen saying hello. Kites are beautiful. Thank you, Sheila. It's been a while since I made them in my group, so I thought it would be a good thing to bring up. What did you use for the white part, Susan? Um, the white, the backing. Um, this is muslin, so. You buy muslin by the yard at the craft store. Um, this I've used quite a bit of. You can get white, you can get beige, um, creamy color. I have both and I sit when I'm watching TV and I rip the shreds and then I've tea stained them too. So I kind of have, have white with a little bit of spots on it or I literally have plunged it in or um, and then I have cream and done the same thing. And I also love to, um, after they're, after you've taken them out, I use tea, um, like this, this, the heavy steeped tea. When I say heavy, I mean, when you're making iced tea, you know how you're supposed to steep several bags in a little bit of water and then you add more water. I use that straight up strong tea and put them down in to stain them. And then I wring it out and I wrap them in rubber bands, just a big ball of them in rubber bands. And then when, when they're done, they come out like this, like this. So you can get so many different looks out of the muslin. I use it all the time in all of my projects. Well, yeah, pretty much all my projects, oops. Um, but yeah, that's what the white part is. Or Suzanne, it could be the background, like the, the linen that I used. So like if you watch that video, um, this was the linen. So the linen that I used, I cut out the shape and that is the background of that. So I'm not I'm not sure which one you're asking me. Um, you may try it. Oh, Kathy, I would love that. Go to TammyLovesVintage.com and then there is a join my membership um, tab and it's called Tammy's Making. It's $15 a month. Jump in, jump out, do whatever. But once you're in there, you can see all of my videos since I first started the group in February of 2019. And I can tell you it's a very laid back group. I'm super busy, sell real estate, painting, all of the stuff, and we paint houses. And um, so I don't schedule anything because I never know when I might have to change everything. So I just jump in when I can. Um, I text, I do the text alert that I'm going live when I remember. I don't always remember, but <laughs> it's kind of new. So, um, but yeah, you can replay all of them, all of them, and they're all in there. You just scroll. Um, for sure join oh who said that joe thank you joe i'm so glad i don't have a lot of people in there just the serious vintage uh lovers that like to create something really different um and i do i try I try it's really hard to do <laughs> different but there's some really good ones in there so anyway if i do say so myself i try to do easy ones too some of them are a little involved but doable you know i try to break it down for you so Anyway, thank you for watching. I went through, oh, I just said anyway. It's the only time I said it. <laughs> My husband says I say anyway way too much. I think it's the only time I said it. And he just walked in the door. Well, you guys have a nice night. And thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, watch me again sometime. Have a great night. We'll see you. Happy, have a happy weekend too. <laughs> see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>